Hey everybody, this is Marcy Super on the Marcy Super Channel, and today we are trying our new Pokemon singles team featuring Tapu Finny. I'm gonna call this I'm gonna call this video and I'm calling this Try Hard EXE. Because it's all I'm doing today. I am trying hard. But on that note, if you guys haven't already, go check out Monday's video where I asked you guys to give me some QA questions. Whew. To give me some QA questions for a QA video I'm doing on Saturday. The link for that is gonna be down in the description below. Also, guys, go check out Pokemon New Beginnings. I should be doing a giveaway of a battle ready Pokemon based off of one of my team members of today's video. So go check that out. That description, that link is gonna be in the description down below too. Also, at the end of this video, if you like this content, make sure you hit this video with a like and subscribe to me if you haven't. I put out battle videos and let's plays all throughout the week. And we are working on getting daily videos out for you guys. So since I already, I miss having a bottom screen so much. I really miss having a bottom screen. Like, I really do. I also miss having my, oh, social media is down under the screen. Facebook and YouTube slash Marcin Super. Also Twitter at Marcin Super YT. And if you want to battle me, my friend code is right under there. You can hit me up on Twitter for a battle. So, we see Lycanroc Midnight Form as his starter. Which is kind of, kind of spooky because I know he's setting up rocks. I know it has no guard, and it is not the best thing that I want to be linked up with. We can always just trade Stealth Rocks. He has no Magic Bouncers on his team. If we were to see an Espeon, I'd be a little more spooked, but we do see the Stone Edge. I takes about 60% of HP for me. So we are going to set up Rocks right now. Catalyst is my Necro Cosma, just showing some love for your boy. We do see the second Stone Edge. It is going to connect. He does have no guard. I am going to shoot off a T-Wave right now. Hoping that after T-Wave, I can recover. And if I can get one recover off, I should be good. I mean, not recover, but Moonlight. Moonlight does a lot of HP. Um, actually, recovers 50% HP. And it's very easily um, a good move when your opponent is using Rain or Sun. So we see Stone Edge. That damage does kind of spook me, but I do feel like I can get a Psychic off on Tabot. This is like it's going to be a straight up 1v1. It looks like it is going to be a 2-hit KO. Doesn't KO, doesn't KO? Okay, does not KO. We can hit the Moonlight right now. And we could hope for a Paralyzation right now. If I get Paralyzation hack right now, I'm going to be so happy. But we do see the Stone Edge. And I am going to kind of be um, Moon Rocking right. Actually, no, I didn't want to Moonlight right there. I could have totally recovered and knocked out. So we see the Crunch, actually. And what he doesn't know is Crunch, he would have been better off Stone Edging me. Oh, no, not with that defense drop. But. If we follow the defense drop, he was better off stone edging me because I take 25% less damage from super effective moves thanks to my prism armor. That should knock out. So Lycanroc is just done. Necrocosm is just chilling there. And looking at his team, I can see Mimikyu being a thing. But he swings out Twilight Zone. I really don't need Necrocosma for anything else. We could just try to T-Wave this thing if it doesn't knock me out right now. We do see the Crunch. It is going to be super effective. So that's okay for me though. I am going to send out the Arrow. My lovely, lovely Decidueye. Because I just I just wanted to use Decidueye and I just needed a reason. And if... What's the best way to use the Sigiwai if it wasn't for just simply, just simply, um, what was I going to say? Just simply for the simple fact that this is a tryhard team and the Sigiwai does not fit. But we can get a Swords Dance off right now. 
We do see a crunch. The arrow is not going to take. That has to be Choice Bandit. That Pokemon has to be Choice Bandit. Because it took out... It took out my buddy way too quick. So let's see. Which is all good. I do have Tapu Fini. And he actually doesn't have anything on his team that, that, that wants to be bothered with Tapu Fini. Except for the Nigaligo. Nigaligo is the only thing that really doesn't want to fight Tapu Fini. So because he doesn't have rocks out, we could get off the Nature Madness. And get that nice half HP down. We do see the Psychic Fang right now. So it not it is not Choice Minute. It just has the highest freaking base attack. Like, what the fudge? So you know what? We resist. Oh, man. I'm sending out Scizor. Because this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is straight up ridiculous. <laughs> Tapu Fini shouldn't have been doing all that. So we are going to resist the Psychic Fangs right now. That still does a lot. Okay, it goes credit. We're going to Mega Evolve, and I'm pursuing. That thing is buff. That was way too much damage. Oh, we get swept. We're slowly getting swept by Bruxfish. We do see the Aqua Tail. And we survived by 9 HP. Oh, God. That is a lot of damage. I see a Sinner War coming out. And it sucks because now we're down. We're only 4-3, to three, I believe. Because he knocked out Necrocosma and Decidueye. No, we're still good. Because I have a backup. I have a backup for a lot of these mods he has right now. And I think getting rid of McGearna is my next big threat. So we're going to get this little chit damage off on the center roar. I just need to get enough damage on it. That seems right. We see Fire Fang. So he really didn't want to take the damage from Flare Blitz. Because the center roar doesn't have any other good moves. So I feel like your ninja might be able to... Greninja is my best bet right now. All he has left is Nigahiga, Nigaligo, Incineroar, and and um <laughs> and Mimic Q. So we're gonna shoot off the Water Shuriken. Just hit. I know it's hit. Hit two more times. One more. One more. Nope. Critical hit. So we're gonna need that Battle Bond right now. Grin Ninja, show us some love right now, baby boy. So say hello to Ash Grin Ninja. I haven't used this guy in a at all in Wi-Fi battles. So what I have left now is Grin Ninja, Wasabi, and Necrocosma. Which is not the best, like, <laughs> the best assortment of um, Pokemon. But Water Shuriken does hit three times. Which means it's going to hit Mimikyu at least twice. So Disguise is going to break now. Now if he tries to get, um... Oh man, that thing has to be bulky. I'm expecting to play rough. Play rough can take us out. Oh, I was hoping it would miss. Ah, Greninja. Okay. So even though that does hurt me low-key. Wasabi should be faster. But Finny needs to be done. I know I'm faster than Mimikyu. And I know I can fight Nigahigo one-on-one with um, Wasabi. So Tapu Finny is going to come in with the... With the best of moves. And we're going to hit the Scald. Tapu Fini pretty much can take any hit from Mimikyu. Tapu Fini is physical. And Scald should be able to just 
Burn, 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 burn. I need a burn. Nope, we do outspeed it, though. Okay, Finny, you did good enough. You did good enough, Finny. You did good enough, Finny. Wasabi, I'm going to need you to clean up for me, boy. Okay, Wasabi. Since we know it was slower than Finny, I know I should be able to outspeed it. So we're gonna hit it. We're gonna hit the thousand arrows. Man, tryhard.ex try hard was not the goodest I the best idea. So Wasabi is on a very low, like not the best. But I couldn't afford to try to set up with Dragon Dance. Nigga, he goes should go. Oh no, he has two Pokemon left. Oh no. I thought, I just thought we were good. Thousand arrows should do, man, I don't know if thousand arrows is gonna be enough. Oh, it was. Puppers, Wasabi is coming in with the kills. And we should be able to outspeed Nigahigo. We are a jolly max speed. Nigahigo, like, has a 103 base speed, as long as it's not Scarf. Because it is going to take damage from the Stealth Frog. So any Focus Hatch it may have is going to be gone. As long as it's not Choice Scarf. We should be able to knock it out. Okay, Puppy. Oh, like a boss. Puppiers has it. So this was fun. This was fun. He dropped me down to my last Pokemon. So that was good. That was good. This was a fun match. I'm definitely going to bring this team at least two or three more times. This was a 0-1, guys. That was good. So hit that like button if you enjoy this content. And go ask me a question on my Q&A video that I put out on Monday. Or my Ask for Questions video that I put out on Monday. Ask me anything you want. Also, if this you're watching this the same day that this uploaded, you could probably go to Pokemon New Beginnings and catch a Battle Ready giveaway that I'm going to be doing. So, guys, this is Mario Scene Super and the Mario Scene Super channel. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't. Smart Skin Super on the Mars Super Channel and the Mars is out.